Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm doing this spiel at the end of the video so if you would like to listen to any to the spiel or the information then please listen right to the end um, remember I also do give news in my spiel but I'm not doing it at the beginning because it takes too long uh, in the beginning and uh, it's not very nice to come into a reading and getting all this blah 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 so I'll do it at the end and so stay with us and thank you for coming back if you are a cyber angel thank you for your loyalty and your likes and shares you are number four on the list as there were 41 likes thank you very much so if you want to get to be number one then get those likes going guys and girls okay and if you're new welcome to the channel and thank goodness that you've landed here and I hope you enjoy the reading I do go live but like I said I will give you all the information at the end of the reading this is my nine card spread that I use also on my one-to-one -one, uh, readings and I'm using it in such a way that this is the querent card that is you or the um, over or energy okay this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and the cards in the corners are my clarif clarification cards or those cards will be clarified from the cards that lie around it so let's get started and Taurus had the King of Pentacles as well so it is definitely positive energy this week everything you touch will turn to gold or everything you do will be have a turn um, a positive result or you might be meeting a Taurus but don't exclude Virgo or a Capricorn okay Ooh, positive positive energy love it justice will be done as you have justice you if you are not in a judicial situation then you might be out of balance and this is warning you to come back into balance okay like the scales come out of your head and take action nothing will happen if you don't do that so take enough rest don't uh, burn the candle on both ends that is what I'm hearing use your wisdom you can see the owl there okay justice also represents Libra you might be meeting a Libra okay and you've got the angel number so the angels are with you that's the porthole like the doorway number 11 a new beginning then on Wednesday we've got the ten of cups so if you are meeting a Taurus or an earth sign or a Libra then you might have a new special friend or a relationship number 10 is an ending new beginnings fulfillment also means fulfillment happy emotional time perhaps a cancer because we've got a crab there you are in your element you might meet another cancer happy families parties reunions gatherings with family or with friends there will be happy times perhaps you are getting an invite to go to a party but like I said don't burn the candle on both sides we are in cancer period cancer and happy birthday if you have your birthday this week Yahoo may the coming new year for you you are in your own new year your birthday is like New Year's Day so that is the celebration card so yes I'm glad it came out ah I've woken up <laughs> okay now you're going to get new emotional beginnings that is exactly what you wished for and that is what I'm getting because the eight of cups is um, 
fed up with the old, you want adventure, you want excitement, well, you're going to have it, because you're going to have your party. And it could, of course, could be another lifestyle, or another job, or another place to live. But I don't see you moving yet. Don't throw away old shoes before you... Uh, don't throw away old shoes before you get new ones. But 8 is also the powerhouse and the money house. So perhaps you might be getting a lot of money for your birthday so that you can, for example, buy something new or do something new. Luck is on your side though. I'll tell you in a minute why. Okay, you are in your strength. You are in your element. Great stuff because of the 8. You have reached the stage of the king. You've got everything under control. You're in balance. Wow. Eight is a powerful sign. Okay? Is an equal sign. And you've got the two. You are in balance. But you're not seeing it because you've closed your heart off. You've closed your mind. You've closed your vision. So throw away those swords. Take off that mask or that blindfold. Open your mind. Open your solar plex. Open your heart to love okay don't be scared of it open it so don't look what is in front of you you can and then you can make a decision or a choice because it's two there will be more choices than one but look around you don't focus what is ahead of you look at the possibilities of what is happening you hoo hoo there might be parties. You might be getting a visitor, or you might uh, be getting a... Well, the bouquet means you might be getting a visitor. That gives you a bunch of flowers, but I think you'll get more. There is an ending to negativity. So long you open your mind and your eyes and your heart and your solar plex. And it is your, if it is your birthday this week, you'll be getting lots of gifts, not only a bunch of flour, but you're getting get visitors. Luck is on your side. The first card in luck, and then we've got number two again. So you've got the angels here, you've had 11 here, and now you've got 22. That's two times 11 is 22 as well. Two and two is four, so there is a new, with these new beginnings, there is also stability and proper foundations luck is on your side you might be holding on to something here that is giving you luck money abundance love Ooh, definitely love know that you are loved and again you've got number 26 so that becomes an eight two eights you might need more information though you might start a new study and um, there are things that you might not know enough of or you don't know so you have to do some more research as the book stands for knowledge stands for secrets to gain knowledge okay be careful that with the secrets okay there might be a person holding a secret from you because you've got the snake so be careful of a snake in the grass Again, somebody in this deck is sitting on a bench, reading. So you are gaining knowledge. You're doing your research with regards to something. Don't believe everything that anybody says. And don't shut off for information. You can shut off for gossip. You can listen to it. Don't get panicky about it. Don't lose your head about it. And Yes, walk away from people's drama, but find out for yourself. Do the research. And then we have um, the card from the M Queen of Moon Oracle deck. I think that's a beautiful deck. And 3 and 7, 37 becomes a 10. And that is an ending. And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And fruition is here like 10 again a 10 so double numbers 
and both tens become one so again eleven so you if you see a number eleven eleven and there was another one no hang on a minute uh, two two eleven and eleven is twenty two that's what I'm saying and that's eleven this is uh, eleven two tens becomes two ones eleven ah, well I've lost it then hang on a minute there must be usually I'm right two two no no okay you've got t um, two elevens okay again a double number and this card says fruition and it is funny this lady is wearing a mask alright so be careful of sly people or people keeping secrets from you okay as the seasons turn there is always a time when all the potential of the spring beginnings is manifested the crops grow tall and are ready to be harvested and they ha they have done this from a fellow field into which we have planted seeds the trees have flowered and now there is fruit to pick it is time for the harvest okay so let's see where can we see harvest number 10 number 10 you are harvesting something you have done the investment and it's turning to gold because you are going to harvest justice will be done you're back in balance okay luck is on your side so somebody might be giving you a gift that's also harvesting okay abundance of love you could be meeting a Libra or a Taurus or uh, an other earth sign or a, a, a crab cancer okay mm -hmm. I love this I really do okay now your postcard from spirit dearest you dearest cancer happy birthday even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead it's a time to rest allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart take off the blindfold open up to new ideas before they reach your mind honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming you might feel lazy or unproductive but we know better like I said don't burn the candle in both side, uh, sides okay just sleep is a way of recharging before renewal so are you in the time for dreaming in this powerful process of co-creation your soul merges with spirit in a profound way so you can receive your music directly from the source and play your part in the symphony of life you are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear so the message from the divine is only meant for you in other words take from this reading what matters to you we have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible way don't worry we will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream no need to set the alarm clock loving you always that's your birthday message good things are going to come to you but don't burn the candle you are allowed to dream 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 okay and then we have the middle world for you and the middle world I just had to look at this card because these are my new cards they um, 
mystical shaman deck and I've been using them for my daily cards okay it's number 36 so again endings new beginning you're going from number 9 to number 10 lovely and where else did I see a 9 let's have a look 9 two nines. you've got a lot of double numbers in your reading more so than anyone else at this moment the essence of this card or the meaning of this card the middle world is the realm of day-to-day -day reality and the playground of the living it is the present moment where everything is happening yet the middle world is created by the future not only the past and it is a mirror of the invisible realms when things are right in the middle world heaven and earth support everything when you are not right heaven and earth must be brought into order as well so if something is not right in your world heaven and earth just think of heaven and earth it must be balanced and that leads us to the invitation or the task the middle world show when the middle world shows up when conditions are favorable to your undertaking do not hesitate move forward as heaven and earth are smiling upon you the time is right so be expedient but mindful of not being reckless in other words new beginnings go for the new beginnings there's endings let the past be the past don't worry about it open your solar plex open your heart open your mind to new things and there are loads of good new things happening for you but don't be reckless don't burn the candle on both sides it will bring you out of balance it won't make your investments good okay be in emotional happiness and balance awesome love this reading the world is your playground and I say your oyster and what would require great effort at any other time can be accomplished with ease right now so go with the flow that is what I say go with the flow realize that um, the angels are with you and the divine is with you the world is your oyster and you don't have to be stuck in one place like this tree it's rooted roots and the tree always bends with the wind or like a water sign go with the flow <laughs> I love this okay good 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 well happy birthday counter and I hope you've enjoyed this reading if it doesn't resonate with you like I said go and have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign you will find more information part two happy birthday cancer this is an extra for you because it's your birthday and Gemini I did say uh, in the Gemini video uh, the second week of Gemini that I would it it, w uh, it was so extended that it had a big message but I didn't get that out of your reading and so I decided to give you an extra reading for the coming year Gemini's reading was uh, something like 40 minutes long it takes over it took over a life of itself so this is my birthday present to you and we have one for each quarter of the next year and also the overall energy or you as the querent so if uh, this is July or right from the start June July August September okay and you do have the ace of pentacles so it could be happening in September or you could meet um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and they appeared in your reading as well as you the king of pentacles so 
yes you might be getting a new job a new study a new home something that has durability and uh, will be with you for a long long term or a long long time this could be work this could be money this could be an investment that is will benefit you in the long run because it brings return again and again okay if you invest wisely remember keep your balance that was also a very strong message in your reading because I think you did have temperance um, uh, no you didn't you had uh, justice so again temperance is coming out in the second quarter of your year so that is in that will be October November and December maintain your balance again this is the autumn time for me in a Sagittarius you a uh, time something could be of importance because temperance does represent Sagittarius or you might be meeting a Sagittarius that could be your new passion for long term then in your third quarter that will be January February and March you have the seeker the fool don't lose your head about anything okay take new beginnings as they come try to maintain the balance and see the new beginning uh, coming before it throws you out of balance and you might start panicking put your head back on okay look in front of you and around you look for the signs if anybody is giving you a sign to go that way check it out get the information so that it will last for, for a long time and so that you can remain in balance okay new beginnings again sometimes you might get a new start in something and you didn't see it coming don't worry try to look out for the new beginnings focus on what is happening around you and be more aware you will get recognition in the end of the year in the last quarter so this could be April May or June you might be finishing a study and you will get recognition as you have the eight of Pentacles you are in your power definitely uh, before you come to the new cancer sign or time next year also you might finish your study and you might start a new study or if you are in college or university you will go on to the next level absolutely fantastic but this is absolutely the energy for you is maintain balance keep your head on um, uh, think things through put it back on ask for help if you need help because you will reach what you are aiming for this is what I'm also getting through but it is important that you take your rest and you can take your rest by being active being active also stim um, what is the saying going uh, I forgot the saying now but by being active you also feel rejuvenated so play be playful okay again you've got the two of coins and under the two of coins you've got the four of swords so rest is imperative okay and under that you have the world you will reach your goal something will come to an end and again new beginnings so persevere okay persevere don't lose your head about anything stick it back on study check out information before signing contracts or doing anything else new you had a lot of double numbers also in your reading 
uh, of this week uh, or the coming week and it is also saying don't burn the candles balance is very important to you for your health you are hypersensitive okay you are also emotionally sensitive so try might not want uh, it might not be balance in the sense of work and home um, or uh, the balance uh, in between things but also emotional balance to maintain happiness for the long term okay you will be there uh, you will reach your goal in the end and your balance so take it step by step like take a pa uh, page out of the out of the earth science book step by step certain uh, sh uh, if you do it slowly and uh, steady it will you will reach your goal and keep your balance and don't be afraid to ask for help that is the energy that is around you you will make money for long term especially if you're studying and you pass your exams it will stand you in good stead and keep you in balance I hope you've enjoyed this reading uh, your and your extra reading a happy birthday I hope you have a wonderful year ahead and please uh, if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign I go live Monday Wednesday and Friday I also put notifications out on Facebook Instagram and on the com under the community tab on YouTube because I've been told by cyber angels they're not getting notified by YouTube so that's the extra I'm going to do from now on and that is also for you cyber angels have a wonderful birthday I love you all you know that and um, if you would like an extended reading even if it's a yearly reading then find the information underneath this video in the description box or click on the white circle with the eye in the top right hand corner that will take you to the website and there you can find also the video on the competition updates on reviews interviews and um, also what type of readings I do there will be a new reading uh, uh, reading added and that is a crystal ball reading and tarot or Lenormand cards okay so I hope to see you in the life take care and be blessed and stay safe I love you all ciao ciao